Hey there, you guys. I was like eyes to side because I thought maybe I had my camera on the wrong side. Sometimes when I'm flustered at the end of the day, this is like kind of at the end of the day for me. So um, it's partly why I'm sort of always right now until we get into our house. And then when we get into our house, I will have my lighting correct and my sound will be better. I know I'm really echoey and I can't do anything about that in an apartment. Um, but until all is um, able to be adjusted, we're just living with it. And um, I, so thank you for doing this. Thank you, I'm Kathy Crow. This is the Temporary Crow Cottage. I am gonna call our new house the Crow Cottage. I, it's a really big house for us, it is. I mean, for other people, it's probably just an ordinary size, but we've been living in a really small house. All these 30, I think Jeff and I are, this year it'll be 39 years, I think, or is it 40? I think it's 39 years this year. I don't think it's quite the big four zero. Um, so at any rate, um, yeah. All right, on to what I'm doing <laughs> before I get too terribly distracted. I am gonna do this sweet treats today, and this is gonna be a treat for you to watch me probably flub through something. I am gonna have fun with it. I always do, it's why I like to do stamping. It's always fun, even if I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, today I'm gonna do a card that is actually, we're gonna have a sleeve, okay? So this one's kind of snug, because this was a, a prototype and I've been working on it, so is, this one's a bit snug. Uh, I Hopefully the one I do today, it's sturdier, because I mean, it's it's not gonna be any sturdy. That's a sturdy sleeve, but it's because it has to. This is um, one of these pop-out things that has, um, you know, all these little triangles. So this is gonna be fun. I've sort of cut some of it, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing, and then I'll rescore it so you can see exactly how to score such a thing. Now, the thing about this, I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time decorating our card today, a, a little bit. I, I do wanna use the uh, cloak the it, we have in Stampin' Up! has got a really cool die, and you've got these cute, little cloak sh shaker domes. Oh, they are adorable. So this is the first time I have used these since I haven't used it yet. Oh, I forgot to get out my sprinkles. Oh, I might not be able to find those at the last minute. I was desperately looking around for my my um, foam adhesive strips and found them, but then realized I don't even know if I need them. I spent like 10 minutes looking for those things. But in looking for those, I did find my a pastels, yay, I found the pastels. I'm so glad because I've been waiting to use those. Um, that is gonna be a fun coloring trick, the pastels. So I'm gonna put my little sleeve back on. I'm not gonna use this paper. Um, we're doing, gonna do a fall theme, okay? Today is kind of like a fall theme. And thank you so much for joining me. And make sure you like and share. I appreciate it when you do that very much. I need all of the encouragement I can get. <laughs> all right, so here's my paper today to cover up my big white spot, and I think that will probably be sufficient for covering everything up. All right, so I've got a whole bunch of things all over my desk. I'm hoping that I can coordinate everything well enough. Today I'm gonna use that Sweet Treats gonna use this measure of love this is in our annual catalog and um, remember right now for every $50 you spend you get free stuff because it is celebration and uh, so yeah it, it's a it's a really good time to be buying you know a whole bunch of supplies for yourself let's see if I can the my my arm just doesn't really let me go where I want it to so I'm gonna shift everything over here so I can see exactly where we are working. <laughs> kind of on the side here. All right, so we're gonna use these two stamps. This is also what is in the, uh, I think this one is in our new catalog. That's Hi Trudy, it's good to see you. Thank you for joining me. I'm sorry I'm a little late today. It's just been, one of those days like every day. Our painter didn't show up at eight o'clock like he was supposed to at the house. And um, yeah, anyway, he got there. He got there, he was just a little late. It wouldn't be a big deal except for like, we're, 
you know, new here. And anyway, I'll just go on and on. So we'll stop. Classic cloak. This has all of your little holiday things. Trudy, I think this is in our newer catalog, isn't it? This is, that one's not in the annual one. I think this one, or no, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the other way around. Let's look at the mini catalog here really quick and see if I can find it. Okay, so Sweets and Treats is in Sweets and Treats. Oh, that is what it's called. I thought it was Sweet Treats. I have my title wrong, I'll have to fix it. So Sweets and Treats is in this mini catalog. So I am gonna assume Classic Cloak is in the annual catalog. That's usually what they do. Normally they would not put two cloak type dies in but there it is i am so wrong so classic cloak also is in this mini catalog what do you know so you would have to get that and i think is measure of love in there i think measure of love is in the annual catalog because i've had it for quite some time all right so i'll get out my cutting board we're going to need that for starting it out and for the first card what you're going to do is you're going to get white you're gonna, gonna, we're going to cut it, 11, you can use an 11 inch piece and then just cut six, it's gonna be six by 11, okay? So we'll start off with that. So, oh Andy, you are on with me. Thank you for sticking around. I am so glad I didn't miss you too. Thank you so much. And make sure you guys share the video. I appreciate it very much. Um, I have got some people involved with helping me get some things. My, I went to, I took some cards down to our, our apartment complex people are really nice. They keep this apartment really beautiful. And um, to show my appreciation, I took a big bunch batch of cards down to them and they were so excited about that. They said, oh, we're gonna have to have a party as soon as COVID restrictions are done because everybody's still, you know, Springfield is like a hotbed of COVID right now. So, um, you know, we didn't bring it, we didn't bring it, we don't have it, Jeff's been vaccinated. I'll never get it, I'm sure, because I'm sure I've been exposed. In fact, I'm pretty sure I had it last year, but anyway. Um, it probably not, who knows, who, who knows? It doesn't matter if you, if you had such a little reaction to it, it doesn't really, you know. Um, anyway, let's just move on. They said that they would do a party down there. So I'm gonna call, I'm gonna come back whether we've moved or not, cause we should be able to move from this apartment by the end of September. I'm so excited about that. All right, so we are, this is an 11 by eight and a half inch sheet. So all we need to do is cut it six inches. So one of these is gonna be six inches. Okay, and we're gonna work on that one first before I do the second sheet. You actually need two sheets. So I'll just set that one to the side. So what you will do is you're gonna make your little gate fold for this, all right? So this is just a smidgen over two and three quarters. So I'm gonna find my two and three quarters mark right there. And then we're gonna go just, not all the way to the next eighth, just a hair over that. And then I need to find my, where's my, there it is, my score blade. I have to keep it out of my, Lit in Hano cover because it flops out every time. <laughs> yes, Andy, I am too. Thank you so much. Um, I people have been really responsive. Oh, okay. So two and three quarters, just a little more. So I think once we, you know, we're having a hard time deciding on a church. There's so many really good ones. We've been to, man, man. I think we've been. We I know we've been to four. We might have been to five different churches and they're all really good, but they're good in different ways. So it's been, it's been hard to decide which church we're going to go to because um, they're, each one we go, okay, well, we really preferred the music at this one. This one, they were really good. And anyway, it was really an uplifting, wonderful worship experience. We liked the worship people. 
Um, if the next one is like, well, I really like the sermons. I like, yes, I, he's good. You know, I really like that. Um, the other one is like, well, I just liked the service better. Or the other one, the people were just so much friendlier. So I don't know. It's just going to be hard for us to decide. We're still working on it. All right, so 11, and a, 11 inches wide. That is, again, you scored at two and three quarter inches, but just a tiny bit over, just a little bit more, because you want a little bit of an overlap, just a tiny, tiny overlap. Because this part, when you get it in there, it actually does kind of make a sloppy mess, and that has to be hidden by a flap that's coming out and over. Now you're gonna have your sleeve, you know, covering it as well. But, um, you know, when you have your card closed, your, your belly band or sleeve is gonna cover anything that got messy there. But just to be on the safe side, you know. When I did it, this one is actually a bigger size. If you look at this one, these are the ones that I have on my Pinterest. I have a couple of them. And um, they are just, you can see, a tad bit bigger. And that extra space gave me the ability to open and shut this without any gapping here. I mean, without any overlapping. But it wasn't, I had to use a 12 by 12 to cut that. So um, I didn't want to show you a 12 by 12 because that's just difficult to 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 do. So we're going with an 11 and a, by eight and a half, okay? Thank you, Andy, for sharing. Sure, so appreciate it. Now we're gonna do this part. This part was the easy part. So I'm gonna set that aside. This is the one we did, and we'll get to it in a minute. This part is 10 and a quarter, and this one is five and a half inches, okay? So let's grab the other sheet. We're gonna just go with white and white. So 10 and one quarter inches. Let me pull out my arm. 10 and one quarter. Listen, it could be off a little bit and it's not gonna make a difference. Okay, and then five and a half. And this could be off a little bit too. Wouldn't really matter that much. It doesn't, it, it makes your, this is what makes it a little counter wonky on the inside though, uh, with these folds being the way they are. If it was a little wider, but then I'd have to make the, uh, the whole card bigger. So it's kind of why we're doing it this way. Now, what you need to do from your 10 and a quarter inch side is your center point is gonna be five and one eighths. Okay, so we need to mark our center point. So five and one eighth. So we'll find that. Now this is where you do need to be exact. So that's our five and one eighth. I'm gonna grab, um, I hope a pencil. I don't see a pencil. So I am going to take my pen and make sure I'm at five and one eighth. And then I'm gonna make a little mark right there where the track is and right there where the track is. So now I know my center point. All right, and that's really all I need to do for now. And then we're going to score the, all the little triangles. And if you made one of these before, Andy or Trudy, these are pretty fun and easy to do. Now, where did my score blade go? There it is. All right, so we're going to take um, our, we're gonna put our track, our scoring track on the card and we're gonna score from the center to this corner and from this center to that corner. We're gonna be um, just scoring all these, all these corners from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here, and here to here. We're just going across. So you just lay your, um, where you marked your center, and then you put your corner. Hope you can see it. You're gonna put your corner exactly, it does need to be exactly in the track. I've got things moved around a little bit. So our painter, I don't know why he was late this morning. We have a guy who's in, you haven't, oh good, you guys, this is gonna be fun. You're gonna enjoy it because it's gonna be super easy. You're gonna really like what you see. Um, it's so bright. Let me take off a light and see what happens. <laughs> it's like 
mega bright there. Let me pause here for a second. Oh, that's, is that better, ladies? That it's not quite so bright? I don't want it to be dark either. All right, so we're gonna, I've got my point here. I've got my center mark there. So I'm just scoring straight across. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just put your mark there in the corner here, right in the track. So I don't know why he was late, but he seemed pretty nice. The painter, the contractor that we have for all the other work, we hired after the painter. When, oh good, thank you Andy for telling me whether you thought that was better or not, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so since when we got here, we were told immediately because of all of the houses that are being bought up, that all the all the contra a couple that I called that our realtor recommended they were they weren't taking any new jobs. There are so many people moving and um, having work done in their new house. So um, I thought, well, we've got to snap up these guys immediately because everybody's being snapped up. I mean, materials are being snapped up, houses are being snapped up, contractors are being snapped up. So we um, had the person that we're having. Um, paint the house we we agreed to his you know deal uh, early on and then then found our main contractor who's been wonderful and um and I wish we had you know made that other connection first but on the other hand I just feel like oh well God's got this in hand and he is taking care of it and initially it was nice having two guys to you know kind of oversee to some degree coordinate so that not one thought he could just do everything and get away with it, basically. Although neither one have shown any form of dishonesty, so I shouldn't make it sound like that. But you know when you don't know anything about them at all? I mean, we were just going off our realtor's recommendations, who we didn't know them either. And um, so it was a little dicey to me, but it's working out. Now you wanna take, do another score line. So we scored here to here, here to here, again from the center point, which was mm, five and one eighth on an 11, eight, 11 inch, or not, not 11, 10 and a quarter inch piece. And, um, and then we scored here to here and here to here. But we also need to score right down the center of your triangle. So you can't see easily my score lines here, but what I wanna do is score right down the center of those, on this side and on this side. So in order to do that, let me grab my ruler and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put shove my paper up here against this side so I know it's square. And I'm gonna shove my ruler up against this board, my cutting board lip, so I know my ruler is squared off too. And then I'm finding the center point right there. Because I'm working on white, um, I need to mark. But let me make sure I'm marking the same size. Good, That's I've made a mark there already. So this way I can see where that center line is. Okay, this is gonna go on the opposite side of the card so you won't see any of these marks. Now I'm gonna flip it and we're gonna do exactly the same thing. Okay, so here's the center. I've got it squared up there. I'm gonna square this up. You can get rulers that actually have a T. They're T rulers. Um, and um, I used to have one, but the T broke off. <laughs> um, so I have a straight ruler instead of a T teed ruler. And so now I'm just using this clear one that was one of my kids. This is one of somebody's school ruler a long time ago, Mary or Will or Joel, I'm not sure who's. So I've got those marks and now we can lay those in the track. Should match up pretty perfectly. And then I can score right there and score right here. Oh, I'm gonna be so glad that they're getting that house painted. They, the, our regular contractor guy has put kills on the floor where the dogs and cats peed and peed and peed. And um, they've put it over it so many times. It's finally taking it away a little bit, but that smell just 
permeated through the whole house. So until until the um, painter comes and paints all the walls and ceilings, it's still in a couple of rooms, you can just a tiny bit still smell it. So it'll be nice to have it all done. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to wanna fold this. And this side, since it's marked up, is gonna be on the bottom, you know, when you're doing it. So since that's the case, I'm gonna flip it over because I want these to be folded like this. We're gonna take those, those diagonal ones and we'll fold those first. So there's that one and there's that one. And I'm not even using my, um, you know, I could, it's not really necessary to use your um, bone folder. You can, but it's not necessary because we're gonna be working it for a little while. And I think I'm done with my cutting board temporarily. So let's put that out of the way. And then we'll fold this side too. And Donna, this is a friend of, of, of Andy's that I haven't met yet maybe. It's nice to see a new face. Since I haven't been doing it regularly, all of, a lot of my favorites are not coming on anymore. They've given up on me, I guess. All right, now for this fold, we're gonna fold the opposite direction. So we're gonna go down like this, okay? So thank you, you guys. You are my favorites <laughs> because you're, you're sticking with me. <laughs> you haven't abandoned me. Now, some other people haven't abandoned me either. It's just that they're busy and, uh, and they are having to do other things at this time. And that is perfectly fine. You can always find it on YouTube. You don't have to just do it on Facebook. Now we want these to pop, we want these to pop up and out. When you are putting your card together, this triangle and this one and this one are gonna have glue on it to glue onto the card. So we want it to close like this. Okay, so you just close it up and make it lay down nice and flat. And you can see those are out. Um, you, you don't wanna trim them because if you do, it's gonna make your card look kinda weird. And um, you're, you're just gonna, when you do glue, you're just gonna wanna make sure you don't get any glue on those because they do have to pop out. When we put glue on, I'm not gonna get too close to this edge. I'm gonna put it mainly, mainly down here and, and just a tiny bit up here because I don't really want that to, I just wanna make sure I'm not interfering with that at all. Okay, so you can see it does fit in there. It's just, it's a little tricky. All right, so we're getting this card back out that we already folded. And I'm gonna go ahead and bone folder those. And we're going to glue. Now you could use your DSP. We've got a, got a few things here. What we're gonna use today is the triangle dies. That's what we're using with this. I also brought out my tailor-made tags you know what, if you did, don't have the rectangles, now you don't have a big one, there's not a big tag, so if you don't have the stitched rect rectangles, though, you can use these to make um, the smaller label-sized rectangles. You would just have to cut two times. So the tailor-made tags are really handy. And then the other colors that we're gonna do for our um, DSP today are our Calypso Coral. I got some Sweet as a Peach DSP out for that. Isn't that what it is? Oh, it's You're a Peach. I love that paper. It's so pretty. And we're just using um, the Pansy one too. It has this pattern. And this is the Peach one. Okay. So this is the Pansy paper. Back side. This is Pansy Petals. Okay, well, those are the two DSP colors I've got going here. All right, so I've already cut out my triangles a whole bunch because I didn't want to take Jeff's down at the pool. <laughs> I don't want him to be down there. He calls this his bikini time, and he's laughing about it because he knows I know he's not looking at the girls with bikinis. And, you know, you might say, oh, sure he is, but no, gen he genuinely is not because he knows I won't put up with it for one thing, and I would just tell him, knock it off right now or else. Um, <laughs> but I don't even have to do that because as a teacher, he learned really early 
in life, you do not want to be gawking at women because uh, they don't appreciate it. It's not really all that nice. And when he had a daughter, he definitely realized, eh, that's pretty creepy. I don't want to be doing that. All right, so we are going to get out our glue and get this in here so I can assemble it and then I'll get everything. Oh, I forgot, I'm gonna do my cloak. Now, I've not used the cloak yet, but I wanted to put the cloak in the center. I thought that would be really cool. What do you think? I haven't ever done it and um, I think it'll fit. Now, when I put it in though, here's the deal. It's this card with the cloak in is not going to close all that well. If you didn't put the cloak in, you know, you could get this to close pretty nicely. You know, it's still going to be up a little bit, but not much. But with the cloak in, it's going to be up quite a bit. Uh, I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. And we're going to see what happens because these kinds of cards have to go in a padded envelope anyway, right? So we're going to put the cloak in here. All right, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna have to put the camera way up because I've got to bring over our cutting machine. So let me grab it and put these things on the side somewhat and get it. I'm gonna be so glad to be in our house so that I have space to have all around my desk to be able to move about freely and not have to go get things and move things and lose things all the time. Right now, I think I lose things a lot because I just don't have really the space for stuff. So, at least that's my excuse. It's probably not even the case, but it's my excuse. It's a ready-made excuse. All right, so now I've got all these nicely folded. They're gonna get really flattened out in this machine, but that's all right. I'll just refold. Okay, so we'll put our cloak right in the center there. Wish me luck. <laughs> I could tape it. Oh, I know my friend Freddie would be saying, just tape it. Don't even mess with that because you're going to have trouble if you don't tape it. So I am going to find some tape. Where is my tape? I don't know. I should have some handy, but I don't see it. So let me grab some other tape I have on the side over here. Um, what have we got in here? We've got all kinds of tape, all kinds. Oh, here's some sparkly tape. No, that's, this is actually one I really like. This is from our pressed petals. This washi tape was pretty. I hate to even use it. Let's grab one of my other ones that I don't use ever. Do you do this too? You have a hard time deciding what tape to use because I don't want to use up the ones that I... All right, here we go. So we'll make sure we position it properly. Put some tape on it. I don't like putting tape on it because um, I think it's just my bad luck or something. Oftentimes it tears my paper when I remove it or mars it. Even if it doesn't actually tear it, it mars it. All right, let me move this. So I can roll. Oops, my plates are. There we go. They're off a little, I understand, but it'll be fine. Okay, so there we go. This is the part that is the part I don't like. Maybe if I use different washi tape, it would work better. I think this is usually the washi tape I use. Maybe, see, look at that. It's it's tearing my paper. This is why I, I'm gonna have to put something on that. Ah, maybe I shouldn't use this kind of washi tape. That side's going better, okay. Phew, just right there. It really adhered well. All right, we're gonna live with that. Let's try this side. Go like that. Oh, gently. Oh, I tore it. Oh my goodness. That's why I don't do that. Usually I just make it, I just adjust it on my plates that I don't have to. All right, so there we go. Cut it out. I don't care if that tore because I'm done with that. And we'll put my cloak back in. Two 
to my case. Okay, washi tape, you are not my friend. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can get that nice and level again. All right, so oh, I've got an extra plate there. Let's throw that to the side. All right, so we have marred things there, but that's okay. I needed to get my this on here. So one of our cute little cloaks. These are so cute. I got two boxes of these. Oh, so that the tape doesn't tear your paper press sticky side against your arm. Oh, thank you, Andy. I never would have thought of that. I'm always a little sweaty here. <laughs> Actually, that's generally not true. But when I'm stamping, I am because I'm drinking hot coffee and stamping. And so I'm generally a little sweaty when I'm cook. I've got a little tiny fan on my desk and I was comfortable until when I'm it's just drinking coffee and stamping. I can't handle that apparently. All right, thank you. All right, so now we're gonna stick this on here. I should probably put my deals in there, but we're not going, oops, I, I tore the wrong one off. I don't want that one off. I want the one that's the other side off. This one I want on there for a while because I'm not quite ready to stick you on there yet. In fact, this side's gonna have to stay on there because I don't want it to, no, I do want it down, okay. I'm talking to myself, sorry. All right, so this top part is the one we want off. I want that off so I can get this to stick on. All right, there, and seal that up good. These are so cute, so cute. And then we get to decide what we're gonna put in there. And I think I better use the one that I cut out, even though I did tear it a bit, I'll flop it over because um, this is not gonna rest flat against, this is gonna be like this. I better actually use a, a piece of scrap paper behind this because it's gotta be larger than. So let me grab a piece of scrap paper. I'm just gonna take a sample. I was cutting different sizes to make sure I was getting the right size for you guys. This one was just a little smaller. So this should work quite well. All right, put that there. There we go. Put that in behind and then I can use that to stamp on. And then it'll also seal up my little thingies, right? All right, so what are we putting in? You might ask, well, this is a pumpkin themed one. So we're gonna do the pie. We, this is a pumpkin, oh no, you know what we're gonna do? I got, I got the measure of love one out because I was gonna do the pie, but then I decided I wanted to use the love you more stamp on this one. Um, the, a tasty treat for someone sweet would be really cute too with the pie. Oh boy, what do you guys think? You wanna do the cupcakes with Love You More? Mm, I do wanna put my sentiment on the bottom here. I'm gonna use the cupcakes because it's going to fill up my space in my cloak a little bit more. All right, so let's grab the cupcakes. I really like this stamp set. It's fun, fun, fun. And I did find my giant block when I was looking for those things. My goodness, I found some things. I found some clips, which I'm going to be using today. I was glad to find those because I didn't want to buy a bunch more because I have a bunch. And, uh, but man, I've been out of, out of them. So, oh, let's put that classic cloak away before I lose it. My cloak dye. I'm just kind of stick it in there because it's not really. I'm gonna have to readjust some things to get that all in there. All right, so let's make sure we're getting this in the right spot. Uh, I don't think I have to be super exact. I think I'll be able to 
maneuver it about a little bit. So we'll stick it like right there. So cute. All right, so Jeff, um, down at the pool enjoying himself. That's always nice. And I'm not, was wondering today, what is he gonna do if the weather is not all that great before we actually move? Because September, we, we're gonna be able to be in the house by the end of September, but he could be getting pretty, although I do have to say he's gonna be substitute teaching. So once September starts, maybe he'll just always plan to be doing a teaching job on Mondays. So that will help things quite a bit actually. And he won't have to be, and I feel sorry for him. I finished my Facebook Live and then I go to the pool to get him and I always feel a little sad for him down there. All right, so we've got Calypso for just because he's been there a while, you know. I mean, it's great to go swimming and it's a real treat to be able to do it. This is pale papaya and Calypso coral. So let's start with our light Calypso coral. We'll remove that so I don't get ink on it because it does bleed through. And we're gonna do our bottoms brown and we'll do, do these um, frostings like this. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on the frosting. Let's do some of them lighter and some of them darker. Now let's do that one there, like that. And we'll use the darker pale papaya here. Okay, uh -huh. like here. No, I'm not really liking that. Let's see what we like with this one. Yeah, that's better. We'll just do that. We'll just stick with our Calypso Coral. I don't think I'm liking the pale papaya with it so much. It's, I, with the DSP I've got, I couldn't use pumpkin pie. If you wanted um, more of an orange, though, you would just need to use some different DSP. I'm not, I didn't want to, I didn't really find any pumpkin pie ones. I haven't, have you bought any of the Halloween stuff? I didn't really need it this year because um, we're gonna, you know, be in an apartment and, you know, I'm just, now, then we'll be newly into the house when Halloween comes, and well, I don't I don't know that I'll be doing a lot with Halloween this year. We'll see. We'll find out. The house will be really fun to decorate, but we're not going to have been in it long enough to really be able to get into that too much. All right, let's just use bronze. It's a good general brown, and it doesn't cover up stuff too much for the bottom papers. I think don't might be dark, too dark. Let's try cupcake, or I mean um, crumb, crumb cake, dark crumb cake as well. The saga of our car thing is that in the Tri-Cities, Andy, you guys will be happy to hear this, that are from the Tri-Cities, Tri-City Tri Toyota has saved our behind <laughs> they are wonderful we have not had good luck with our toyota here with helping and on the phone they don't even answer the phone half the time and when you do they just tell you uh we might be working on your problem but we might not and you just need to wait and find out meanwhile we're driving without a license a licensed vehicle we were both able to get our actual driver's licenses thankfully i still have to go down and get show i was mayor i still have to do that waiting for washington state to send a copy of our marriage certificate but other than that it's just it's the vehicles unlicensed and um toyota tri-cities when i contacted them in one day made it all happen for us and we're still waiting for the documents but at least they were able to say the documents are coming definitely coming and no one else could do that for us so um we are indebted to them on that okay so isn't that cute so cute we do need the little plate under it now 
you know, I am going to use, where's my dish? I am going to use the, I took the die that comes with sweets and treats that has this little, let's push, position this here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I wanted to put this underneath the cloak like this. Okay, to simulate a wood piece since we're doing, but I kind of need a plate under there, don't you think, or do I? I could put a sentiment up there and yeah, maybe I'll just do that and then not do a plate because the problem is the plate is really cool, but um, I where I need it is on the top and I didn't stamp it because I, I didn't really want to, frankly. All right, so I've just talked myself into needing two sentiments. I need a sentiment here, and I need a sentiment here. So we can do our, we could do sweet friend, love you more, that would be super cute. We could also do, no, not that one. We could do a tasty treat for someone sweet, and love you more here. I think that might fit. That might be a little bit snug. Hmm, so I think we better go with the sweet friend. That will fit, I know. A tasty treat for someone sweet, almost the same size. Let's get this stamp out and actually lay it on there and see. All right, where are you? There you are. I've done it quite a bit. <laughs> of all the stamps I've used, that's probably the one I've used the most. All right, so sweet friend is going to go here. Let's see if that will fit in there nicely. It does. It actually is a nice fit. So let's do that. Sweet friend. Let's get a smaller stamp or a block, I mean, to stick that on there. All right, Calypso Coral, where are you? Got a bunch of stamps stacked on the side here. There's terracotta tile. That one's pretty close. Oh, there you are. That's so coral. There you are. All right. Let's just move you out of the way. Sweet friend. Oh, so cute. And then we're going to put... We'll stamp the other part right here. So let's grab that before we put that away. So how is the weather in the Tri-Cities and uh, Trudy? How is your weather also? Freddie has got uh, probably bad storms coming her way. I saw Florida is not gonna have some storm issues. Love you more, that's the one we need. Don't put that away, we need that out. There it is. It should be cooler, rainy. Ah, rainy. Oh, thank you, Andy. Isn't it, you know, cupcakes, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Uh-oh, I put the cloak in. So I am, go I can't stamp with a cloak there. I guess I could, no, I really can't. Do well, I, I can if I use a skinny stamp. I just can't use my big square one because I'm not gonna have room to get in there. Let's see here, will you fit? Yes, you will. So we'll just put you on the top here, right there, so I can stamp you. Oops, wrong, wrong top. <laughs> When we were at the DMV getting my driver's license, she said, okay, move over to a little bit to your left. It was to her left. So I moved to my left and she said, no, 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 to, to your left. It's like, um, that is my left. I was thinking, because I get that wrong a lot. So I was thinking I was wrong and no, it was her. So when Jeff left with me, he was laughing to himself about it and told me, here, get in your, get in the car. No, no, not that <laughs> left, your other left. Okay, now I flubbed here, so maybe I better, I'm, I'm not doing well here, so let's get that flub off, I'm afraid I'll, all right, so there we go, oh, so cute, 
All right. I do have a pumpkin spice. I wanted pumpkin spice on this card somewhere. I'm going to have to drag out my cafe. Remember our old um, Mary Cafe, uh, the coffee cup one? That one has a pumpkin spice. There was a spice, I mean a holiday theme coffee cup thing. Uh, that's what I want. Let's glue this on before I get going any further because I'm afraid I'm going to... We'll put a dimensional on this piece. Where did it go? There you are. All right, so we'll get a little bit of our strip, dimensional strip. And we'll stick you right on here, like so, and snip off the end. We'll get you right on here. Hopefully, evenly. There we go. This little tiny piece I'll save, because I'll use it sometime, I'm sure. And then we'll put a little bit of glue on this one. Smoke's leaving, oh good. Oh, I forgot about the smoke. You know, that was another thing that I just didn't understand why. My, my son Joel said that he had heard that the environmentalists that have been in control of Washington's forests and causing this major fire hazard every year because they won't clear cut when they should and used to, to prevent fires in the summer, they actually were talking about doing that again as though they brilliantly thought of it all their eyes. just thought that is so hilarious. Old people, we just need to sit and wait and be quiet because as long as they think it was their idea, they'll think it's a grand one. If they think it's your idea, they'll think it, you're full of it and ignore it. If they think they thought of it, <laughs> then it's all good. So we'll just sit and wait and smile and look at each other and nod our heads and think, well, could have saved you a lot of trouble if you'd listened, but you didn't, so. All right, I've got, of course, glue, sticky, sticky glue. It always happens. You can get those strips, and I have them, the adhesive stuff, put it on, then roll it out. Do I ever remember to do that? Of course not. I never remember that. Um, now, I do have, waha, do I have, do I have some things, but none of the things that I'm <laughs> looking for, of course, I do have some glittery stuff somewhere, surely, don't I? Glitter, 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 where are you? Because I know I do have some, so. Ah, why didn't I think of that before I got settled here? I have snowflakes. I don't really want snowflakes. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm finding. I just am looking all over the place for where possibly I can have the litter. All right, it has to be in these drawers down here. So we have a whole selection of goodies here. What have we got? There is the peaceful poppies, because those are orangey, so I think those will work. And then these are just assorted colors that Stampin' Up! sold. And this is a, go a gold <clears throat> one, and that'll be good, because this is my gold glitter flakes. I don't want to use that. All right. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're going to stick the glitter. Oh, let's get that embossing buddy out because otherwise your glitter is going to stick all over the place. So we're going to put a little embossing buddy on here. Aren't you sorry that you don't have, um, you know, 
and that embossing buddy in the catalog anymore. I'm kind of disgusted about that. All right, so we just need, my hand's very sticky, and I don't really want any of the black so much. Got it anyway, but I didn't really want any of it. Um, there's some little beads I've got. Those would have been good, but I'm not going to stop and hunt for them. Okay, there we go. That's good. I don't know that I need any brown, but we'll put, we'll see what we can get out of here. There's a little bit of, little copper, little white, little brown. Okay, that is going to do because I'm, I want to move along. And as usual, I get, I got it all over the place. There's some there. Don't sneeze. This is like the, any of the powders and things. You don't want to, you don't want to breathe. You don't want to sneeze. Okay, so I think, I think I got all of it. So this is gonna go right there. So now, now we can take off, oops, there's another glitter. Now we can take this, peel it off. And, oops, that guy is right there. And we're gonna lay this right where we want it. And seal that guy up. Oops, there's. Uh, we're gonna have to surgery here. All right. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Get that little corner off, and my little snips. I might have to. I might have to do something with that. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. All right. So there we go. Now that that should be all sealed up, let's make doubly sure that it is. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's good. Let's snip. Oh, cute. Cute. All right, there we go. Now we can stick this in the card. Let's get our. The triangles have to go. Remember, I rolled it <laughs> with the die. So it's being a little obstinate. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now you can get, you can see where my embossing buddy did its job there, huh? This is going to go right here. So you want to glue the center down first. So we'll take our glue. This is going to go there. We just don't want it to go on the edge, out of the edges, but we do want it to glue really good. So. Let me get some right on the top here, too. And right in the center. Okay, there, that one's on there pretty good. Make sure I got it straight. It is, and now we are gonna close up these edges. Now, if you don't want a white backing, you can use uh, DSP for the outer card or a uh, solid piece of, um, you know, your card stock instead of white. Um, but I'm happy with the white myself because then I can just do some other things. So I'm going to put this glue on here and not get too close to the edge um, if in case it spreads and I, I just don't want it. I'll put more in the middle here rather than the edge. Okay. I'm gonna hold that down a little bit while I'm doing this side. All right. Okay, that belly band is gonna cover that. I didn't make it quite big enough, did I? Because of the rise of the, you would wanna make this outer card 10 and a half inches, not 10 and a quarter. And then that would cover that gap. All right, now I can't really pull it too much yet because it's not solidly glued, but isn't that cute? Now what you're going to do is all of these, I took um, that the different DSPs and did all of these stitch triangles. Now let me show you which stitch triangle fits that square, if I can find my dies. Oh, there they are, right at the side here. All right.
right, so when you're looking at your triangles, you've got all these different ones. You've got, uh, I forget all the names, but if you're a math person, you know the name of that one and that one and that one, but this is the one I'm using. And it's the middle one, not the smallest, not the largest, but the middle one fits this, these um, pretty good. They're a little bit large. So an easy way to, oops, that's not the triangle. Let's get one of my triangles. They're just a tiny bit large, not too bad though. They actually fit in there really well. So you can um, mix and match if you want, or you could do them all the same. Just try to stick with a pattern. You know, any any pattern that you want to do. You can, you can put the stripes around, you can put the dots around. As long as you just decide which way you want to do it. I kind of like the dots myself, but I didn't cut quite enough of them to do all of them that way. Maybe we'll do the dots around the cloak and the stripes on the side. What do you think? Do you have a preference? I kind of like the dots. I think. I do, I do. I like the dots. So we're going to go with the dots. So now that I've decided, all I need to do is do the gluing. Thank you, Andy. I'm glad you like it. It is a super fun one. It's easy to do. And, uh, it's, um, it would be super fun to get in the mail. All right. So we are happily enjoying it. Every time I step out the door, I just, we look at each other and say, it's another beautiful day in Springfield. It's cool. Today was cool. I went down to the park and walked in the sun and uh, I told Jeff, there's a little part now that's got all the cactusy stuff going and I could, was, today was a cool day, so I could actually walk right out in the sun and enjoy it. And so I'll take him down later to the park and we'll walk and he can look at, because he really likes the cactus stuff. So Jeff's going to enjoy that today. Now you do end up having them not align up maybe as well as you would like. But actually, when it's all together, it looks really cool. So you're not going to, your brain is not going to be fussing with these oddities. It's just because the angle is not a perfect one. It's not exactly a match for the angles of the, the card. Uh, but it's, as, it's really close, and it's just super easy to be able to cut your, uh, your, your stitch triangle dies for these side pieces. And you don't have to do your measuring and, and making sure the, um, you know, lines measure up and everything. Oh, and Andy, um, I actually have a card coming out with this one in um, a newsletter in, because I did it with the Delivering Cheer. Oh, it turned out so cute. It's on Pinterest, so you've probably seen it. The Delivering Cheer card, one, one of those cards I did with this. And I used the picture this circle frame thing on the cover of it, but it's a, it's a it's one of these pop up things. And um, I did put dimensions on that card, but I don't know they're not exactly they're the larger version, so they are not these. You you would need to start with a twelve by twelve you know, white cardstock for that one. And, uh, but yeah, there are those dimensions. Um, you know, it takes out, literally, I'm not kidding. It takes hours to, um, go back over a video and apply cards. At least it does for me. I'm sure the professionals know how to do it. And the problem is I, and the, I have a few times written my, written them down on the side and, um, but then at, like today, as I go along, a lot of the times those aren't completely accurate. I mean, what I, what I did for a project earlier when I'm actually working on it, realize, oh, you know, it's a little long. So let's do it this size. And then I alter it right there in the video. So writing them down for me, for especially for these complicated ones, um, 
it might not guarantee that they're any more accurate. So I stopped doing it. I just figure you can always go back to the beginning of the video. When I'm, all you do is you just scrub back, um, see where I'm actually doing the cutting, and um, and you can you can just stop the video and listen and hear and see because I do repeat it a couple of times. So you should be able to to do that, and it's not that hard to do. And then it just saves me, like I said, hours of putting uh, instructions on there that might not even be accurate. All right, getting there. Oh, so cute, 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 cute. Now, as you can see, doesn't you know line up perfectly. That one did. Some of these not so much. That's just because of my my lines, my score lines weren't perfect. You know, to get this kind of a deal perfect, you'd have to be super exact. But look at that. So cute. Now you can take, um, you know, a bigger one, I suppose, and do. Or you could even take your smaller one and stick here. But I'm not going to because then I could use this to write on, on the sides here. Um, so we've got that. Now we're going to want to do, I've got these little tags because this is, Got all these pieces because I wasn't sure what I might end up with, but I did cut out two of the tailored tags pieces for the front. So I want to put that to the side so I don't lose that. And I don't want to lose all my little triangles because I'll probably use those at some point in time. Even if not today. Let me throw my scraps away. Thank you, Andy, for being understanding about that. I appreciate it. All right, so now all we need is, do I, I did, I cut them out already. These are my DSPs. I could put that on the front, but instead I'm going to put Calypso cardstock. This is my little belly band. Now let's see what size I did, because I'm not exactly sure. I changed it up as I was doing it. Here's another example of changing up my, my measurements as I go. And um, where did my ruler go? I had it here a minute. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So this is, turn it the right way. This is three inches. And this is 12. Because I'm going to just, I took the 12 inch paper and just cut it three inches. I'm going to fold it over. It's pretty close to a, to a fit right there, isn't it? Um, this since this is our, our, I'm gonna do it loose because I need it to be a little loose. This is our DSP, so it's lightweight. Um, if you wanted something sturdier, you would wanna put it on cardstock. I'm gonna just make this do, and I'm gonna go ahead and, I could put tape on there just to make sure my glue isn't gonna squish out, but going to go for it here right about there all right uh oh that's where the teeth come in handy all right right there and oh it's nice to have my clips back again so glad i found those All right, so that is going to adhere together on the side while we cut out the little bit. Now here is where you can make it, you can extend it a bit so that you're gonna get it shut more. Obviously it's not gonna shut much because of the cloak inside. We can get it to shut a little bit more. So normally this would be uh, two and three quarters of an inch. We're gonna make it just a little more and go two and seven eighths by six. Okay, so again, I'll just, I could put, actually, I could probably put the, dim, the uh, dimensions in a comment in the uh, list, if that helps Andy, I could do that, that would probably, that I wouldn't have, that doesn't take hours and hours to do, that just takes like a few minutes to just write in the comments what the dimensions are for this one, because the dimensions aren't that, you know, that big a deal. All right, so we, what did I say? I already forgot, I think I said two and seven eighths. I did, two and seven eighths. All right, we'll go there, two and 
seven eight. Might be a little big. We'll find out. Two and seven eighths, and another two and seven eighths. And both of them six inches long. All right. Let's see if they um, are going to cover it. They do pretty well. All right. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. Appreciate you guys sharing. Remember, we've got for every $50, you've got all kinds of stuff. Have you guys, how are you doing with your celebration? Have you, have you gotten that, uh, um, the paper that has, it's a holiday paper. It's one of the free celebration items. That's the red paper with the, or, or white paper with the red and black checked deer on it. Oh, it's gorgeous paper. I think I like it almost better than every other <laughs> Christmas one that they've got out there right now, other than the Peaceful Cabin. Now that Peaceful Cabin is the best DSP, isn't it? It's just beautiful. And I haven't gotten, there is one other Christmas one that I thought was really cool too, but I haven't, haven't gotten into any of my paper really other than that dear one and the peaceful cabin one and i am not done with that that peaceful cabin is so so cool all right and the peaceful cabin has that really neat background one andy you put on that uh, double z fold that somebody did that was just magnificent all right, I didn't make it big enough. So you could go three inches and it would definitely overlap a bit, but it might overlap too much, but you could. Now you could emboss it too, which would be really neat to have some embossing there. That would be cool. If I had done my special fancy glue, my other unknown glue, I could adjust, but I did it. All right, there we go. And now we'll put our tag on. Let me get my board out of the way so I can work a little more easily. And the only thing is on the inside, you got those pansies, you know. The only thing that kind of looks a little goofy, but it was the right color. Ooh, it's a snug fit, but it is a fit. And you've got a nice handy dandy square already. And we've got another little handy dandy square. It's almost the same size. And we've got our tags. Okay. So I think we're gonna use these all together. I could, how about this? Let's take one of our triangle pieces and we'll just do it like this. That will be cute, won't it? Okay, so we'll do that. We'll glue this on here. When you have all kinds of pieces laying around, you can be very creative. So if you feel like, I'm just not all that creative, how did they come up with that stuff? Partly it's because we have things laying all around. <laughs> have parts of things laying all around, but we're not throwing it away. We're going to use it. And so... Um, a lot of times, all those little parts laying around and you're trying to use it, you become very creative just because you're using up supplies. Now, I do want a ribbon or something there. I'm gonna think about that. We've already used our sweet friend, love you more. Gotta have something else and I don't want a scale one. So we're gonna have to go with a tasty treat for someone sweet. I could put happy birthday on there. I don't need as many birthday stamps. Right now I am still in the look, I'm looking for the church thing. Um, I have got some ideas though for other places I could be taking my cards to because people have really appreciated them. Our realtor really liked them. Our bank really liked them, as in they can use them to send to people. So, um, and there are, you know, your nursing homes and um, assisted living places, and pe they really love those things. They will definitely use them. So I haven't been to one yet, but there's one really near us right now, so I could go right on down there anytime. 
and I'm sure they'd be happy to take a big load of cards. And I've got a bunch I need to do that with. I'm not really using them here like I was at home. Okay, there we go. That was a perfect fit. Doesn't get much better than that. I really like the caramel apple in this one. What do you think? Which which are the the sweet treats you guys like? You like that? What's this? This is like a special holiday pudding thing. What is that called? Is, is that's not a plum pudding, is it? I've never had a plum pudding. So what do you think that is? Um, the caramel apple, really partial to that because this I suspect is an apple pie and I do like apple pie, but not so, I like chocolate. So caramel and chocolate, this could be anything. <laughs> Cupcake's always good. And I did not bring in ribbon. And you know what, I also can just tell you right now, I've been looking for some good orange. I've got some, I think we've got some Calypso coral ribbon, but it's fat. It's not an organza one. I need, I need something like that. Okay, now one thing about our, to get it to match, I had to do that, you know. So sometimes I don't do that. <laughs> um, anyway, um, the other thing is, is that you can, you can shorten it up and just use your die and cut it again and make it the length you want, um, you know. That's that's the one deal about the tailor-made tags that I'm not not so sure that I'm thrilled about. But again, it isn't hard. Even right now that I've done it, I could just whip it over to the cutting machine and cut it like this, and it's all good. The thing I do like about it is it has these. These are cool. So I could take my little scrap of Calypso coral, cut it out, and then I would have a little Calypso coral. It makes a nice reinforcer. Not only does it look really good, it makes a nice reinforcement if you're gonna tie it on a package or something. But since this is just going here, I don't need to worry about it. I'm gonna look really quick and see if I can find um, a skinny, a very skinny, and I'm, I am seeing something good here. It's not exactly what I want, but, oh, I found something. one of the nicest ribbons we've had in a long time. It is gold overlaid with all of these. This could go with your pumpkin, your papaya, your pumpkin, your coral. It'll go with anything and it's soft, very pliable. Sometimes our gold stuff is stiff. This one's, yeah, twine would have really been good. And I think you're right, Andy. I think it is plum pudding. And twine, I'd like, I have a Calypso coral twine. It's kind of, actually it's not Calypso Coral. I think it's Flirty Flamingo because I've tried using it and it's just, it's a bit too pinky. It's not, it's not orangey enough. So I don't have a twine that really works with my orange fall things. It's too, too Flirty Flamingo-ish. So um, maybe they have a Calypso Coral and I just haven't bought it. Do you know? That's very possible. This last catalog, I haven't bought everything because I just, I don't have time to, to use it. I've, I'm, it's like, I'm not gonna buy more than what I'm gonna actually use. So I, I actually use all of my stuff. I know I'm talking to somebody who said, yeah, I don't know, I, I haven't even used, you know, I've got stuff unopened. I'm thinking, oh my goodness, and don't, you don't need to buy stuff if you're not gonna use it. I also, it frays. Oh, this ribbon frays so pretty. Look at that. Oh. Why am I so easily amused by things like fray? I don't know, but the fray is like, oh, sweet. I'm, I'm entranced. All right, there we go. Let's stop that. There we go. It's gonna go right on there, kind of funky-ish like. Because if I, if I don't really want it to bend. Yeah, how do I do that, ladies? I'm gonna just stick it on there, I guess, with a dimensional. Let's find you. I've got a bunch of mini dimensionals. I've got so many of them, my goodness. 
Those are all minis. I haven't got my big ones out because I'm determined to use up these minis. I've got too many of them, too many minis. Not sure how I got so many minis. Let's put you here right in the spine like this, twine. So Andy, the do, do you know, do they have Calypso coral spine, twine and I've missed it? All right, there we go. All right, um, we have been stuck. We have, were going all kinds of fun places and having a blast. And then we suddenly stopped because of our car not being licensed. I'm afraid to drive out of town. Um, and plus, the, our house, since it's being worked on, really can't go anywhere because they're constantly calling and needing us to do something. So that's kind of put a damper on our, our sightseeing. And now school's gonna be starting and Jeff is gonna be working, although we can decide for him to not work any day. We want him to, so we are gonna be going. We still, there's a castle, Pythian's Castle. And um, it, they, and I wanna see it before they get themselves all ready for Halloween because they do a special Halloween, you know, scare thing in their castle and they do it really well here. This is a very friendly, family friendly, and Christian in general environment. So that said, they have a uh, scary night where it's pretty scary and they probably have some gore and I'm not interested in that because I like fun scary. And then they have fun scary for the family. So we're gonna wanna go on the fun scary night. There we go. Okay, so I am done. That's our little card. I really like it. I think this is gonna be fun. Oh, so fun. And I can do something with my little, I'll trim those off right on the side. There we go. So there you go, sweet treats. Um, do you know what this fold is called? I have no idea. I don't think wherever I saw it, they had a name for it. So I've just been calling it a pop-up fancy fold because I really don't know what it's called. <laughs> that makes sense. All right. So thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it very much, you guys. And um, I will see you next week with something else. And I'm going to be, you know, heading into the Christmas stuff pretty soon, I think, because I, I've, um, well, Pretty Pumpkins is neat. Got to do something with Pretty Pumpkins. That, that one I really like. And I don't know if I've done it yet. Maybe I did it last week and I totally forgot. It's been hard for me to remember what I've even done. Everything is just all up in the air. So if I redo something, it'll be a different design, but I might do it, may, might use the same stamps because I just don't even remember what I have used and then don't necessarily have time to look back and see what I have done already. So I apologize if that happens in my newsletter too. I've been trying to make sure that it does not happen in the newsletter, but I think I so far haven't done it, but I've been really tempted to have like three newsletters on Peaceful P Cabin because it's so neat. And that delivering cheer ended up being a real sneaky one. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did. And when I was doing it, it was really fun to do. So anyhow, I'm trying hard to do a good job, but I might not always. And I appreciate that you're willing to let me flub up here and there. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget you can join our teen se celebration. This is a good time to do it. You're, you are still able to get a free bundle and a free stamp set. And you always get free stuff from the Crow's Nest Crafters, our team, and they are a fun group of ladies. And every month for our team meeting, I send out a kit, like uh, something like this. In fact, I think we are gonna do this for our team meeting. This will be really fun, not with the cloak, but because that would be too expensive for me to ship to all of my team members. But I cut up the patterns and then shipped it to them. And, um, and that's my, my gift for them for being part of our team. It's fun for us. We get together online and we do it all online and it's, it's super fun. So if you wanna be part of a team like that where you can just take part of it anytime you want to, but you don't have to. Some of our ladies are just too busy. They are busy with their grandkids and, and life and having fun. And so they watch it at their convenience and do it when they want to. And um, 
it's fun. So I would love to have you join us anytime and this is a good time to do it. So don't wait. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything else going on. So I will see you next week. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Oops. I think I...